During the Iraqi invasion of Iran in 1980, a deadly war began that lasted more than eight years. On November 24, 1981, an event occurred that indoctrinated the Mirage F-1 into the Hall of Fame in the history of air combat. Deeply intense. Uh, like dropping us right into a video game or even the war itself. The the viscerality coming from the sensory exploration, especially the sonic exploration with the rattling of the plane and the intense air pressure seeming to push in um, to the command shouted from the building um, or shouted from the radios just really created a nice building up of the tension with razor sharp editing and speed. The moments of release were also really welcomed and well placed in having already sucked us in and having us um by on the edge of our seats. And I loved these sections that gave context with those clearly defined diagrams and models, which made me feel like I was an insider and I wanted to know more already because I was living it um really professionally sharply created um, and well executed. Well, this was an excellent action documentary piece fully explaining the giraffe maneuver that fighter pilots used in the Iraqi-Iran invasion from the 90s. Uh, the mock-up footage was terrific, and even the graphics with the global map explaining everything in layman's terms that was perfect because for somebody like me, we need extra explanation of those technical pieces. Uh, being from the 90s, this piece was important. Um, people of my age at that time had had enough of hearing about war in the Middle East. And so this is something new to me, but it was happening all the while in my young adult age. So I'm glad to have come across this documentary. I learned a lot. Wow, what a stylish short. Per the opening, this was based on a true story. We learned about air combat in the Middle East, notably between Iran and Iraq in the 1980s and 90s. The narrator's voice was calm and collected, a perfect tone for describing these military operations. The exciting orchestral soundtrack with heavy rhythms was excellent and really set the tone of this action-packed piece. Incredible CGI of the planes, the cockpits, and the dizzying maneuvers in the air. Awesome sound effects, including missiles and heavy breathing of the pilots. This was a fascinating look at the area, and the maps explaining the various military strategies and no-fly zones were really helpful. Full disclaimer, I, I played some DCS World and other flight sims in, in my time uh, in VR, and uh, I really like this. So I'm a little, maybe a little biased, maybe a little predisposed to having enjoyed it. But um, no, I think regardless of that, it's just a really quality produced sort of uh, little bite-sized documentary. It's informative. It's dramatized. There's some great shots in there. Um, yeah, it's just really uh, a class act for uh, Machinima and really thoroughly well done. I really did like the setup, how everything was explained really well and what was going on. Really thought the CGI, the sim simulation was beautiful. I mean, part of it looked real. Um, just thought it, it was very vibrant. And I really love the colors and this, you know, cinematography, the camera work here. And just the visuals were really great. There was one point when they were, the sound was like writing on a chalkboard and the visuals that went with that I thought were really great. Just really kept my attention with all the the action, of course, and the uh, walking me through it. And the explosions were really cool looking. I just remember at one point there was one that even had some color in it. It just looked really vibrant and cool and kept my attention. And it was such a really nice dedication to the fighter pilots from that time who did the giraffe technique. So um, I thought it was great. Very clever um, where it kind of takes history and makes it feel present. So it kind of does this through like, very thrilling depictions of aerial combat. It really kind of put you right in the heart of 
the action and make you feel like you're there. And so once you've kind of feel like you're there, it stops being a sort of detached history lesson and becomes something that you're you know, pleasantly involved in while you're in middle school. So it kind of gives the history a greater weight and a greater immediacy um, that makes it come alive and that makes it you kind of feel a little bit like what must have been like at that point, at that place in time. Thank you.